Hello, <coughs> hello everyone, and welcome back to Dealer's Plays of Victoria 2 as Mexico. Now the Empire of Mexico. So let's get started. We're dealing back, dealing with these few rabble rousers over here uh, to try to get our, get our territory back here that's been taken over by rebels. Let's get this guy out of here. Take back Zacatecas. Uh, where's our army's about to land? Put them back in charge. And we're gonna try to wait until the tr our truce with the USA is over. And in when does that end? Free states. 1866. Another two years, and then we will we'll try to get the rest of our territory because we only have two, three more states: of New Mexico, Arizona, ne and Nevada to take back. Yeah, New Mexico, Arizona, and Nevada. Yeah. No, we have Oklahoma too. Do we? No, Oklahoma's not our core. Okay. Okay, so we don't need to take back Oklahoma. That's great. One less thing for me to worry about. Alright, now all of our shit's back to normal here. No more re rebels. Rebel, rebel, rebel. What else? Okay, we're just building stuff in uh, our new, brand new colony. In Mexican oil. We'll be expanding a little bit outwards, trying to. Hopefully, that when we when we are a great power, we will get uh, ten thousand. I can't afford this. Hopefully, by the time that uh, there's this the, the the whatever conference event, we will get included in one of the nations that are. They're allowed to just free get forget the free CB on the Af uncivilized African nations and uh, thus get a, basically a whole bunch of free land in Africa, which is what that event is all about. Okay, we're a great power once more. Good for us. Get the CSA back in our sphere. Yeah, we are back to neutral. We didn't, didn't even count. I so want to get extra navy stuff, but I can't... I have to get so much stuff here. Like, uh... You know, mechanical production is one of the greatest techs you can get here for industry. We still don't have that. Utah. Oh, you actually have coal. Neato. I'm actually going to give you a liquor distillery because you have a whole bunch of... Uh, a whole bunch of grain. Oh, baby, we're really getting those immigrants now. Actually getting more than the USA, or rather the KOA, the Kingdom of America. Or KA, I guess, for short. Get New England in our sphere as well. Oh, we have another, uh, another national focus. Great. Perfect. I have enough soldiers in there. No, I actually do not. But I'd like to focus on other things, like getting getting some craftsmen in there. Do you have any capitalists either? No. I want to get a little bit of extra capitalists before we get started. I like getting at least a 0.1% 0.1% capitalists on some of these nations, some of these spots that are very well, very populated. It makes our my life much easier when you want to build stuff. And if we even get rolled back into a democracy, which can happen, uh, that would be very useful.
Oh yes, let's uh, go ahead and build some railroads. Increase our relation with the CSA, get them in our sphere of influence. Really, Texan and nationalists? Are you joking? You know, you're not even a real nation. You existed for like 10 years. Goodbye, Texan nationalists. It was nice knowing you. Also, because we also passed... Uh, because we also passed a... Uh, what's the name of that reform that we passed? All allowed rights will be assimilating all these pops that the U.S. dumped in there very quickly, or rather relatively. What's their nationality map mode looking like? Mexican, Native American, minor, Texan, Afro-American. Wow, we... California is now majority Yankee. Holy crap, they really migrated the shit out of that place. Well, oh, no worries, it'll change. We'll assimilate them. Majority of our immigrants coming from Austria-Hungary. Let's get positivism so we can educate our people faster. I guess that means we can put the CSA in our sphere of influence? Yes, we can. Okay. And then we can focus on getting Colombia in our sphere of influence as well. No, we can't yet because they're, we have a truce with them. We have a truce. How uh, long we have a truce? Is it 1867? I always keep forgetting. I have to keep checking. Yes, you know, 1866. Okay, so one more year and then we declare war on the USA. Hopefully we get all of our cores back and refute Manifest Destiny once and for all. I think that actually gives us extra cores in Oklahoma. I might do that. I don't recall. I don't recall, but it might. Give enough intellectuals in your 3.7. Yeah, that's perfect. Get some, just a little bit, then we'll, we'll switch to uh, Craftsman right away. I want to get, there's this decision to, in, where is this? Oh, there isn't that decision anymore. There's a decision that will allow us to draw in more. Sign the Geneva Convention to sign the, to um, attract more immigrants, a life in the new world or something like that. It's not here anymore. Unfortunate. I'd have really liked to get that, because it would have given us a nice boost in immigration. But now it looks like we're sucking up the majority of immigrants. The USA, or rather the Kingdom of America, still gets the majority of them. Or rather, no, we get the majority of them. They're just second best. But, uh, yeah. We're getting quite a bit of immigrants. Let's get Brazil in our sphere. Get Kick the Netherlands out. Mexican anarcho liberals. Again? Ah, you guys. Jeez. Stop revolting. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so bad. Let's just get artillery. Oh, I forgot to turn that down too. Pay off these stupid debts. I should focus on building these and get started on these naval bases too. They already have a naval base here, so thank you. Thank you for that, USA. I'm gonna keep calling it the USA despite the fact that it is the K. 
the Kingdom of America, because it's much easier that way to just say USA instead of Kingdom of America. Let's get clipper design, because why not? Might as well get started on some navy. We are lagging be... Like I said before, we are lagging behind in... Military strength, not only because our army is relatively small, but because we don't have a we don't have a real navy. We just have clippers, and they're pretty much worthless. Oh, they already have railroads here. Thanks for that, USA. Jeez, you're a real pal. I even built railroads in my my shit over here. Oh, it's 1866. Okay, I'm until July. Can we get an alliance with you? Still will not accept. Why? Is it because we have a... Uh, one of your cores? How's your military technology? 13. Wow, they're ahead of us. We fell behind. We fell behind. Very unfortunate. Really, Japan? You're influencing New England. Come on, the come the fuck on now, lad. That is just stupid. Let's get some craftsmen. In Mexico. Austria, really? Austria Hungary wants to, wants to get in this as well? Before I declare war on the USA, I might want to get iron breech loaded artillery too. I'm not in a big hurry. Considering how everyone hates the hates them now, they're actually allied with the. Oh no, that's them. Considering how everyone wants their wants their head on a plate, like the FSA wants their cores, the CSA wants their cores, New England doesn't want their cores, so they're, they're, the the USA is lucky in that they don't have to worry about New England, that they peacefully broke out of the Union. Utah has a lot of unemployed people. Oh yeah, we're building a factory there. Did we build anything? Shop us. No, we did not. What do you have here? Okay, I guess I get a textile mill started. We're the tenth, and tenth most industrially developed nation in the world. That's something. We're having progress. And it's going to get much easier for us to get a larger army because our immigration is getting larger and larger and larger. And it's going to get hard for the U.S. to get a large army because the majority of their states that they have now have really shit population. They had 5 million at the start. They now have 1.78 million. They lost 4 million pop. Holy crap. How much do we have? 3.12. Okay, we are now the largest population in the world. It's probably only going to go up as well. We should build another factory in Mexico. There's dying. Switch over to clerks. If we can even get clerks at this point, it might be too early in early in the game. Not enough literacy, but we'll try. Ooh, the German Empire formed. Good. Are you allied to them? Okay. So I can't ally you. You're allied to to uh, Russia. <sighs> Are there any other any? I don't think there's any great powers that I can ally with. There's Austria-Hungary, but they're useless because they, they don't have a navy. So um, not really gonna go for them. <laughs> I'm 
more less militia in our colonial states, always a good thing. a glass factory for extra efficiency in producing liquor for that synergy bonus on top of a winery because we do have Japan, Japan was bankrupt well wow, really really no do you have do your truce end yeah they just have a truce with the FSA Uh, you don't have a truce with the USA either. You can, you guys can go ahead, you know, declare war on them. Go, go for it, bruv. Just go. What do we need to build the Panama Canal? Mons Balboa machine tools, nitroglycerin, and uh, iron steamers. So we need to get this and this and also this. So we're a ways off. But if we just hold on to it, we'll be able to build it in no time. Multicultural Association. V oh, Viticultural. I thought it said Multicultural Association. <laughs> uh, wrong term. Okay, Colombia will be back in our sphere. Did New England get new stuff? They got New York. What? How did they. Oh, I guess they went to war over it. Now the FSA is just Pennsylvania and New Jersey. A sad state of affairs. Get started on a glass factory. And even that winery so we can use use up all of our RGO bonuses. I doubt that the I doubt that the Brits will ever want an alliance with us now, because they do have Oh come on now, Yucatan? Of all fucking nation, of all fucking re rebels, nationalist rebels, Yucatan, really. The guys get they get slapped so hard. You think that their nation would just disappear into the mists of history, but no. But no, it didn't happen. God damn, non-existent nations. get so many things there's just so many things that we need to get but I rather keep up to, up to date on military tech because we are going to war with the USA they're ahead of us 50% military tactics what is us 75 wow I actually have higher tactics neat probably because you have more uh, leadership maybe I'm not sure they have 16 brigades they are much less powerful than we are But we are going to mobilize, nevertheless. And we're going to start that right now. No sense dilly-dallying. Oh great, what a time to be alive. Everyone ganging up on them. How does it feel to be on the receiving end of that, USA? Bet it feels like shit. Bet it feels like ass. My friend. Take that, thank you very much. Yeah, they're gonna get annihilated. The fact that we also mobilized. Uh, I don't even think we needed to mobilize, but whatever, just make things go faster.
Can we add a Wargo already? Yes, we can. Acquire Core. Nevada. Nevada, Arizona, and is Colorado one of our cores? Yes, it is. Okay, yeah, I even have Colorado. I hope we can get everything at once this time. It would be kind of annoying if we did not. Yes, you can have access. You cannot have Texas. You will never have Texas. It's mine. It's been mine. It's the beginning of the game, and it'll stay mine. Thank you very much. What the fuck are you doing, USA? Now, they're gonna be a bit of a hard hitter because they don't have, like, horrendous uh, war exhaustion crippling them. So they're gonna hit a little bit harder. 28th... 5th of July. Okay. Here they come. Oh yeah, it's that ta it's that tactics. I don't know how he got that taxes our tactics to be that high. 75%. They have 50%. Is that 50? Wait, I didn't see it was too fast. 50. Maybe because they don't have uh, army decision making? Yeah, maybe that's what they don't have. They have other techs, but they did not get army decision making. Sad. Where are you going? Las Cruces. Luckily for them, one of our friends are going to be going there. You go take over Utah, thank you. Thank you, Colorado. Get destroyed, USA. Gonna see where they go next, so this guy, this this guy can follow them. Where are you going, Santa Fe? Okay, you go there. You stay here and try to occupy that. Mechanized slaughtering block, block, block. <laughs> Oklahoma, Kansas. Get everything. No sense being stingy. CSA is growing, so can, if they ever become a great power uh, to rival us, we'll just slap them because we're, we're gaining. We're gaining. I think we're, we've gained a bit too much momentum to be stopped right now. Because the, major the majority of the industry is now located here and here, but the New England are too New England and the FSA are too far away. The CSA is just mostly agrarian. Uh, they have a they have an industry worse than ours, so they don't pose that big of a risk. They do have a lot of population, so their army is a bit of a problem. Their armies will be a bit of a problem if they ever declare war on us. Which they might, if they ever, s if they ever get out of our sphere of influence.
Add more cores. Here comes their big brigade here, though I think the only one that's left, probably. The only big brigade. North Platte. That's it, and that should be all of our cores. We've occupied the majority of it too. Great, Reyes. Ah, shit. Didn't want to do that. probably just take care of this dude, go back and go straight up for for Denver. Oh, you're still re retreating, okay. Thought you were done doing that. Apparently not. We are actually reinforcing properly, which is very good. Denver, eh? You little bastard. Twenty-second, you are getting there on the twenty-third. Okay, a day after, so you'd be attacking them. I don't want that. Try to get our intellectuals up to like four percent in these three states. I should worry about Colombia and banning out all these other nations that are thirsty to get their hands on that. Okay, their capital's gone. That's all for cores, I think. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. No, we can't make them our puppet just yet. It'd be interesting to do that, but uh, not now. This is what? This is just rolling hills. Our war score looking like 57%, and they have 95% war exhaustion. 
And it's 90%, so yes, we can acquire all of our old cores in one go. Great. Let's just follow him. And I think that's it for the American army. Industry, let's get... Let's get high pressure steam engine, that's good, and it'll be easy to get. Liberal cease power. Are you ready to uh, concede? Ah. Well, I didn't expect that one. Oh, those are not our. We got a little bit more than we asked for, but that's fine. We can fix that later. Um, it looks a bit ugly. Oh, well. At least now we can manifest, can refute manifest destiny and tell them to fuck off. Yes, the American claims to our frontier have proven to be little more than empty air and bluster. Those lands belong to us and no other. <laughs> ah, they lost all their claims down here. Uh, good luck, America, trying to get those back. Maybe we'll end up getting Nebraska later on, just to try to even this out. Because I don't like having this Wyoming. I should have, I should have opted out for only getting our cores. That was a bit dumb of me, but oh well. Who knows? Maybe we'll even just say fuck it and conquer it all the way up to this, up to the, up to here. And it'll be like the Empire of Mexico, except the Empire of the. Will be will become the USA. I don't think you can turn into the USA as Mexico though, but that's pretty much what we've become. Oh yes, need to demobilize. Uh, how's our population looking? 3.4 million. Okay. What's what's your population like? 1.47 million. How sad. Terribly sad. It's not that sad. It's great. And, uh, yes, you will never want an alliance with us because we're a great power, and we're at 33 minutes, right on time. Okay, this was an interesting episode. We refuted Manifest Destiny. Our borders look a bit ugly, but we'll fix it sooner or later. Hmm. I don't know, though. If I'll just, if I expand, or do I just tag them out to the USA? I'm definitely not giving them to the CSA, that's for sure. But uh, anyways, this will do for now. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a great one.